Priya here from mygreatchallenge.blogspot.com and today I'm going to give you a tour of my guest bedroom and how I set it up for the holidays. You can see I already have a wreath over there. Mom is coming today and she's going to be here for six weeks. So I tend to set up this bedroom as a, almost as a bed and breakfast uh, type guest room. So it's uh, on the second floor of the house. Here's the stairs, if you remember, and then there's the guest bathroom over there which is also my kids' room, and yes, their room is clean today. So let's just check it out. And here's the guest bedroom, and it's uh, in the front of the house, so there's plenty of sunshine, and that's pretty much it. So let me just go around and give you a look of it from this side, and you can see the staircase over there. I'm gonna close the door, and then we're gonna start from this side and go around so <clears throat> excuse me all right so for decor um you know i have dogs and both of my dogs are hunting dogs even though i don't hunt but i have a pointer english pointer mix and i have a beagle and i wanted a room in the house that was kind of ref um kind of like reflecting uh, my love for dogs and I actually like hunting. I hope I don't lose any subscribers over that. But you know, I come from France and this is kind of the stuff that we do over there. So, um, but I, again, I've never done it myself. So, um, I just uh, so I just wanted to, you um, know, kind of reflect my love of dogs and uh, hunting dogs, even though I'm not a hunter myself. And found this little guy right here, uh, which is a uh, kind of like a sculpture of a pointer. And I found this at, let me see if I can zoom in, where's the zoom? My zoom is not working. Oh, here we go. So I found this little guy right here for $14 at Home Goods, And he basically started it all alongside the fox over here. That's also a home good find, and I think I got like the same thing. I think it was fifteen dollars. So, you've seen me do makeup videos um, and hauls and things like this in this room, and usually the fox is on this particular piece of furniture right here in the corner, either here or there. So, because mom is coming and I needed to put some stuff on the dresser, the fox ended up being over here. But to finish the look, I went on eBay and I found a lot of old. Um, print and ad advertisement um, that were themed around hunting dogs and hunting. So every single one of those actually has a hunting dog in it. I really like this one. And there's this one over here and I believe that's for um, the insulated jacket. And again we got the pointer over there and then there's this one right here for Winchester and the hunting dog is over in the back. And then over here is a map of Paris because you know that's where we come from. So I have um, that has nothing to do with the hunting, but I've always liked this map. And it actually shows where my mom lives, and my sister lives, and like where my brother used to live over there. And these are just like little uh, brads that I inserted in there. And then on this one is another Winchester one. I don't know if you can see it, but oh, hold on, let me get to the other side right here. So you don't get the glare. And this one has a beagle in it. And then there's this one right here uh, that has more like a, a Labrador and a sailor uh, on top. And this again, I went on eBay and I found that maybe like for $5. And then this one was a little bit more money. I think I paid $50 from it. And it's a um, engraving, a colored ink engraving. Um, that's French. And it says Diane Blonde. These are the uh, um, Louis XIV dogs, hunting dogs. So these are two pointers uh, with a pheasant and it's a really, really, I don't know if you can see that pretty um, engraving. And I am framed it myself, so it's not professionally framed. And I think I paid $50 for this, but I think it was a great buy considering that it goes with the theme. So anyway, so again, so here's the room. I have two twin size bed and they are very soft. This actually I bought at Walmart, believe it or not, the mattresses are $99 each and they've been here for about three years now. Nobody's complaining about those beds. So there's a closet right here that doesn't really open all the way because I have this bedside table here, the one in the middle and I have another one over there. Uh, but basically what I do is that I leave a shelf on the top 
and then some shelves on the side and mom's slippers are always there. Her robe is here. I have some hangers so she can put all of the things here and we usually put the um, suitcase down in the basement. And then I have one of those little baskets here that says um, lettuce, which is the laundry, uh, on one side. And then when my in-laws come over, it gets turned around and it says laundry. So that way everybody gets what they need. So that's just a regular little closet. And then on the bedside table, she always picks this bed here because it's away from the source of heat, which is right over there. She doesn't like um, very hot bedrooms. So I have the uh, clock radio that she asked for last year because she wanted to be able to listen to music. So she's got the Christmas CD already in there. There's some water, um, a little Christmas tissue thing. And then there's some books there that are mostly for my father-in-law because that's, I guess that's the side that he takes when he uh, comes over. And um, so that's not for her. And inside, I have the rest of the Christmas CD. I have some uh, honey candies from... Tasso Epiris, I'm always talking about these guys. Excellent, excellent honey um, from New Jersey. I bought her this time around because she says she complained about a uh, hip problem, so I bought her some Osteobiflex. I wanted to try that. There's a uh, magnifier just in case she looks at a magazine and can't read too well. There's some post its here and a little Christmas um, theme block not note or um you know just to if she needs to write something so that's that and then the bedding itself throughout the year i usually have it on the pattern side but this time around because i bought some pillows for christmas i actually flipped it so that i don't have a pattern overload and this bedding actually was very very cheap i bought it at king linen and i think it was like a one of those bed in the bag deal and um so it came with uh, the uh, uh, this sham, and then the sheets, the comforter, and then this pillow right here, and then there's another pillow. Um, I don't know if you can see it over there. There are more like bolsters that I didn't put on the bed this time around because I wanted to have these, and then these I bought at uh, Home Goods. Um, yes, so it's all green. Both of the beds are the same, and then this pillow right here I purchased at. Uh, decor decorations.com or something like this and they were $24 for both and they have like kind of like the wire in the ribbon so you can reshape them and they're okay I mean it's not the perfect green but I kind of like them so it came with the two I have this one here and then this one here on the other side um, then in the middle I have this little table here with um, a little bird's nest that I've had for years that has some um, frankincense in it just to you know fragrance the room a little bit there's a uh, regular candle um, that's actually also a Christmas scent it's probably one of the Glade ones and I put that in a um, little sleeve from Bath and Body Work and even though it's flowers it does look like snowflakes so I'm keeping it and there's this little birdie right here that I bought actually at my supermarket and I just thought it was just too cute for Christmas and there's this thing right here, which is a big table clock for which I removed the battery because it makes too much tick-tock, tick-tock noise and she complains. So I removed the battery. It's just there for decor. And I purchased this thing right here this year. So I'm gonna... These are paper white um, daffodils, I guess. And it's really, really cool because you get to see the um, roots on it. And once it's done, just like the Amaryllis, I will keep the bulb and reforce it for next year and then at the bottom right here I have an assortment of magazines and as soon as mom tells me she's coming over and it's usually around um, end of August beginning of September and she gives me her dates I usually go and start collecting magazines so there's a big choice is um, Women's Day, Home and Garden, this Country Living, Family Circle some handyman because she's like me, she likes projects, a little bit more fancy stuff, veranda, some Mary Claire, Allure, House Beautiful. And then on this side is all the truth bearers, um, inquirer and uh, national examiner, all of the gossip stuff. That's just fun to look at. Um, and then since there was a, a big thing with 
the 50th anniversary of uh, GFK's um, assassination and my mom has always liked the Kennedys and remembers that day I've got all the ones that came out um, about the Kennedys so there's this one this this one right here I think I have another one after that I can't remember but anyway and this is the her favorite magazine that she really likes to look at when she's here so it's all the latest ones which is first for women so she's got plenty to read and over here's the second bed which she doesn't use but if my sister comes in that would be her bed and I made a little bath basket so there's two baskets there's this one right here which is more for um, prepping bath and nighttime routine and then there's another one over there that's more like little goodies I'll show you in a, in a minute but in this one I have a towel so there's a, a bath towel there's a uh, regular you know medium towel and then there's a, a face uh, what well, is a face towel and then the hand wash and again it's the same green and for little products and all of these she takes home when she leaves these are little gifts that I put together um, that she can use and I do the same thing when my in-laws are here I just provide like baskets and they're free to take whatever they want home um, I found this at a store the other day I can't remember which one but this was a very interesting buy it's a um, oil that you put on your hair that's uh, scented and it's from Shiseido it's called Subaku water I think she's gonna like that <coughs> excuse me there's some um, face mask because we're going to do um, some entertaining and I want to make sure that you know she gets to take care of herself there's some lavender water again from my friend Beat Tasso Pieri wonderful product it's just simple purified water with lavender and you just spray it on your face as a refresher you can put it on your pillow um, there's a uh, pumice a uh, nail kit manicure kit there's some fuzzy socks that I purchased because she likes to read in bed and then in this little bag here I have a bunch of samples there's also a uh, lip balm uh, from Tasso Epieris this is a uh, Bath and Body Works cherry blossom um, handbag and this is a uh, mini shower gel and some samples and things like that so that's that and then over here it's my um, my curio that's here every year that you know nothing's changed it's my collection of um, how do you call them uh, Japanese tea sets uh, Nippon tea sets that I collect and I only collect the ones that have cherry blossoms on them and I have quite a few but they're hard to find and for some reason sometimes you can find them on eBay for really dirt cheap but lately they've really really increased um, in price and these are uh, Kutani's I really like those as well and these are the uh, little fan ones and you can see they have the, uh, the geisha that shows right here at the bottom so all of these at the bottom shelves are little things and here's the picture of mom hunting over there and uh, that goes well with the uh, uh, the bedroom set and this is the white chair I keep talking about that was in the basement before and I finally brought it upstairs for her to be able to read and I found this on the street by the way I had it washed and everything it's the perfect chair it's very good quality furniture too so now on this side uh, right underneath the um, print I have um, the little barista section and mom gets up in the morning really really early um, and wants to have a coffee or tea so last year I had a coffee pot in here and realized that it was kind of a bother for her to have to you know put the coffee in and she didn't know what to do with the grinds and you know had to go back and forth with the bathroom so instead this year I bought a uh, uh, electric kettle so you can do tea and uh, coffee if you use the little instant coffee which she actually likes so it's not a problem and this is great this one is from aroma I like this one because it actually shuts off automatically so she doesn't have to worry about that and over here so we have the um, tasters choice Nescafe coffee which is the one she uses in France when she wants a quick coffee I have an assortment of teas if she wants an herbal tea at night I know that I never go to bed with that one so mom is a little bit like that there's some stevia sugar and then there's plenty of coffee mate and over here little snacks they are those mommies um 
I don't even know what you call them, biscottis, I guess, so sliced thin biscottis. And on this tray here I have two cups. Um, they're from 222 5th, which is a really, really nice company. I love the cups. And the reason why I have two is because I get up in the morning and have a cup of coffee with mom before I go to work. It's kind of like it's become a little ritual. We've done that for years. So there's two cups just for her and I. And that would be, you know, we'll have, what we'll do is that I'll sit over here and then she'll stay in bed and then we'll browse the magazines together. I'll do some translation for her and then I'll have a cup of coffee and then go on my way. Um, and then these are the goodies. Um, I always try to give pre-Christmas presents. Um, this is not part of it. This is just one of my little boy's beer that I, I'm, you know, it's kind of like a little welcome guy. So this year I got a, a um, box of New House chocolate and the uh, um, champagne truffle. And uh, I can't wait to open it. So I've been a very good girl because this has been here for about three weeks now. And I have not opened it, so this is a true gift. And here I have two little Christmas soaps that I found at my fancy supermarket, you know, Kings, if you have that in your area. And the moisturizing shea butter soap. So this one says Merry Christmas on it. And then this one says Joy and Noel. And they really do smell wonderful. And then I got her a, a set of uh, Bath and Body Works. Uh, shower gel and body lotion and perfume um, you know body spray very difficult to pick fragrance for someone else but I know that um, this she actually will enjoy it because it's not too sweet and spicy but it's not too floral and fruity and it's the Aspen Aspen caramel woods and what I did with a uh, sharpie is that I just wrote down in French um, the uh, uh, you know what it is so if it's uh, a shower gel I put gel douche and Lotion corporel and parfum. So that's that. And then right here I have a little blanket um, that I found at, I believe at Target, I'm not sure. Uh, that's kind of like her favorite color. It's this kind of plum color. Here, look what I'm wearing today. Hmm, you can tell she's my mom, right? Um, and that's just for her to take back on the plane, but also to use while she's here. And I put a little label here that says Petite Couverture pour la Lecture, which basically translates to a little blanket for reading time. So she can use it when she's sleeping here, and I want her to take it with her uh, when she goes back on the plane, which is going to be six weeks from now. So. Yeah, um, that's the bedroom. That's the way I set it up. I, uh, there's a fan here and the light. And if you want to see what it looks like on the outside, again, this is facing, um, don't know if you can really see, this is facing uh, the front of the house. So you get a good view of the neighborhood. It's a beautiful day today. Got some nice sky. And the sun basically goes through this room pretty much from 10 o'clock in the morning until... Did I have my finger throughout the entire time? I don't know. If I did, I'm sorry. I just realized. Um, anyway, so the sun is in this room pretty much from 10 o'clock in the morning until uh, 3 o'clock in the afternoon in the winter. In the summer, the sun is here pretty much the entire day. So it's a very warm, very bright, very inviting, very cozy bedroom. So eventually it's going to have to be one of the kids' bedrooms once the, uh, the two guys next door don't want to be sharing bedroom anymore, at which point we're going to have to figure out something else. So this probably will become um, either Willie's or Edward's bedroom, and then I'll have to set up the basement or do an addition. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but we're not there. So yeah, so that's our guest bedroom. I hope you enjoyed this little tour and how I set it up. It's not very difficult to set up a guest bedroom. You know, if you have a room in your house that's spare, like I do for now, of course it's going to be easier because then you can really have it decorated the way you want it. But, you know, sometimes you have to use a back room or a den or a kid's room that has to be shared. And that's fine. All you have to do really is make sure that the person who's coming over or the people who are coming over are going to be comfortable. And for me, it's about the little amenities. It's about the little coffee machine or the coffee pot and the mugs and a little snack here and there. And then all the toiletry items that um, they may need. And just a little touch here and there to make them feel like they're home. And... Uh, I know it's tough when you go someplace else and you go to a visit family because it's not their, your, their habits are not yours. You got to conform to the way they uh, run things in their house and 
you just, I don't know, I never sleep well when I go sleep somewhere else, so I try to make it as comfortable as possible and, um, you know, inviting and make sure that people want to come back. So, a plus she's going to be here for six weeks, so you want to make sure, I want to make sure that she's going to be comfortable because six weeks in a non comfortable spot, I cannot only imagine uh, what it would be like. So, anyway, give me a thumbs up if you like the way I set up this room. Um, you know, if you see anything that you uh, think I should change, if you want to give me some suggestions or feedback, whatnot, um, I'm always open to that. Um, I never really know whether I do too much or too little or if there's something that I should add on because I can't think of everything, I'm sure. Um, I know I want to put a stool for that little chair there, um, but that's, you know, obviously not this time around. So, so this was Sophia from mygreatchallenge.blogspot.com and this was a tour of my guest bedroom. I see you later. Bye!